three, one. You skipped one. Welcome back. So in this video, um, I'm going to talk about kind of probabilities. And sometimes these uh, particular tables that you see here are called contingency tables and probabilities. So this one is very interesting. Um, uh, it's one that is nice to know and it will cover kind of probabilities of false negatives and then false positives and then how to calculate them, you know, given a certain amount of data. Uh, most people actually don't know, um, you know, what these false negative and false positive probabilities um, are. So you're going to be able to see that in this example. So you're given this particular table, okay, of test results. So, um, so certain amount of people have been tested and these were the results given. So now I'm gonna kind of copy this table here and then um, <clears throat> utilize and fill it out. Now, what you can do is within these, you know, you can make your life a little bit easier for yourself. And sometimes these tables will have that already, but you can add up kind of all the columns and then all the rows. So I'm gonna do that in fast forward fashion. So we'll be right back, okay? All right, so I have just simply added kind of all the columns going down and then all the rows going across. Now you'll notice that when you're adding it that way um, and then you do the totals, so if you're gonna go in this particular direction afterwards, you know, the total there is gonna be 20,220 and then you're gonna get exactly the same thing if you're gonna be adding in this direction. So those two things should be the same. So I've just simply said, okay, so how many total positive tests were there? How many total negative tests were there? And then how many total infected people actually there are? And then how many total pe uh, people are not infected? All right, so that's what I've done there. Now with this information, I can start answering these particular examples. So let's say for part A, it says, what is the probability of picking a person who tested negative? All right, so who tested just negative? So if you're just tested negative, then you're basically, okay, this particular column. So this column has all the people that tested negative. Now, we know what the total is because I just added them up, okay? So probability, okay, of testing negative is equal to, so this will be 9, 3, 7, 2. So it's the total number of negative tests and then you have to divide by the total number of people that you actually have. So the total number of people, so in this case again, so I have that already, okay, is that many. So we have <clears throat> this much, all right? Okay, so that's the um, total number, okay, that I have. Now with this, okay, so I can convert this back into a percent. And that percent, so it's nine, three, seven, two, say plus and plus divided by two zero two two zero all right so we have so total negative tests is approximately 46.4 percent okay so that's part a okay great so that's the easier part all right now part b asks us what is the probability of a false negative test Okay, so what is the probability of a false negative test? All right, now, one thing we have to keep in mind, we're choosing somebody at random from these particular individuals, all right? Okay, so what, that's what we have. So when we say, what is the probability of a false negative, we're basing it on these particular results. Okay, so what does a false negative mean? So a false negative, so the probability, okay, of a false negative. Most people will not know what this particular item means, you know, false negative. So what it means is, is that you tested false. So you tested false, you tested negative. Okay, so you tested negative, 
but it was a false negative. So meaning given, so in probability we say given, this is gonna be the probability of testing negative, given, all right, okay, that you have been infected. So you've actually had whatever virus you might have or something, but you tested negative. So that's a false negative test. So what is the probability of that? So notice, so within here, let me erase this right there. Let me kind of clear this up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, okay, and then go across here. So what are all the infected patients? So here are all the infected patients. So we have basically 10,915 patients were infected and that were taking these tests. Now, the negative test, okay, so the negative test, so here we're gonna have to go across this one, all right? So we can see, okay, how many negative tests there were. So now when you have this table, it's kind of neat because what you have is you have a total of 123 people that have tested negative, okay, and were infected. Now, what was the total number of infected people, okay, because that's the given, so given. So we're not going to be dividing this by the total number, we have to divide by the total number that were infected. So infected was 10915. And that is your probability. All right, so probability, okay, of being negative, okay, but still being infected. And that's called a false negative. So here, if we do this, 125 divided by 10915 equals. So it's not high. Okay, so notice it's going to be one point, I guess, one. Let's round this off there. That is the probability of having a false negative. So it's not very high, but it's still there. All right, based on this information that we have been given. Now, also do not forget because these probabilities, okay, so the, the probability here, okay, so probability of being negative given, okay, infected, um, is the same thing as saying the probability of negative, all right, so this is just by probability kind of rules, so negative and being infected, so what's the probability of that, divided by the probability, okay, of being infected. And if you do that, you're gonna get exactly the same amount. So the probability of negative and being infected is 125. Now this is for the total. So it's gonna be 125 divided by the total, which is 220. So that's what you have there, so that's the total. Okay, so that's this, okay? That's the probability of being negative and being infected. And then you're gonna be dividing by the probability of infected. So now, how many were infected? Well, it was one zero, one zero nine one five divided by, okay, so that's that. And now when you do this division, so notice because it's fractions, so the denominators, so those ones are going to cancel and you're going to get 125 all over 10915, which is exactly what we got here. So those two methods you can utilize if you like. I like looking since we have the table, you know, it's much easier to be able to pick that off from the table. So that's part B, that's false negative. So now what about part C, which says, what is the probability of a false positive case? Okay, so false positive. So what does a false positive mean? Well, this is for C. So probability, okay, of false positive. So this again, so what this means is, it means that you have tested positive. So let's say, you know, there's currently, I mean, currently there's a pandemic. So, you know, this is 2021 still, and there's still a pandemic. So people can go in 
and they can test positive, but they might have a false positive test. So maybe they don't have the virus. So what this means is they've tested positive, but they are not infected. So they are, they actually do not have a virus, okay? Or disease or something like that. So in that case, so a, a positive and not being infected. So if I go back here to the table, again, I love kind of just drawing it out. Okay, so here I'm gonna cancel this out. And I'm gonna cancel this out. So now what we're looking for is Okay, we're looking for positive, right? So where's positive? Well, positive is right here. That's the column of all the positives. And then not being infected. So that's this entire column right here, all right? So if you look there, well, how many people have tested positive and were not infected? That was 58. So this is here, so this is 58. Okay, tested positive, not infected. Now, this is given the not infected, right? So how many people were not infected? Well, the total, okay, is 9305. So this is 9305. So that gives me now the probability, so 58 divided by 9305, all right? And that is zero point around six percent so it's a tiny percentage but it can happen all right so those were false positives okay so it's a small sample uh, but there are some people who had that all right okay so that completes this particular example and i hope that it gives you some sense of how to calculate these false positives or false negatives all right, and we'll see you in a future video. Bye, everybody.